All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. We finally get breaking Jets news here. We finally address the tackle position. The Jets are trading for Baltimore Ravens right tackle Morgan Moses, ex-Jet Morgan Moses. Uh, there's two ways of really looking at this, right? But let's first break down the trade. The Jets are getting Moses and a fourth round pick at spot number 134, where the Baltimore Ravens are getting a fourth round pick. 112 and a sixth rounder at 218 so a pick swap in the fourth round and an extra sixth thrown into baltimore moses 33 years old on the last year of his contract uh will be an unrestricted free agent in 2025 and his cap hit is at 6.9 million again there's two ways to look at this number one we are better today than we were an hour ago morgan moses I mean, he's always been kind of one of my... Originally, when the Jets got him, I was fired up. I was fired up. Right, you're getting a balanced run and pass blocker here. Somebody who is dependable. He is reliable. He never gets hurt. You can count on him in big situations. I mean, this guy always suits up every single Sunday. Right, he's never causing problems. He's never, you know, having off the field issues. He's never, you know, causing ripples in the locker room. No, he's just consistent. Pass, but again, pass protection, run blocking. He does it all. He's a great, great tackle, a great solid option for the New York Jets. Again, I was psyched when we got him. And then he, you know, suits up for the Jets and looks really, really good. But for some reason, the Jets just let him go. And the thought at the time was, okay, George Fant, Mackay Beck, then those are your two starters. And then Douglas didn't address depth at all. And then it turns out we really needed Morgan Moses. He goes to Baltimore and puts out two great seasons with the Ravens. Uh, now, it's not to say that he was like a top five tackle or a top, you know, like this elite tackle that we just like let go, but he was good and dependable. Now, uh, you know, going back to these, the, the two sides of the coin, the positive side, we're a lot better, right? We're a lot better today with Moses than without him. We got a huge upgrade at right tackle. We can now keep ABT at right guard, Tipman at center, John Simpson at, at left guard, and now we just got we got to figure out left tackle. Uh, we're not really spending a ton of cash here. We're not, you know, you look at like the contract that like Mike Unwinu got, three years, fifty nine million dollars. We're not investing that much, you know, financial assets into that position. It's only the six point nine mil for one year. Uh, the downside here. It is just a one-year deal, unless, of course, he re-ups at some point during the season or after the season. And it, it comes back to that argument, why did we let him go in the first place? Jets fans were furious. Why did we let him go? He should have been a Jet this entire time. If we didn't let him go, we wouldn't have had, we, we wouldn't have an issue at right tackle. Um, and we would have, I, I guess, if you want to get like super nitpicky with it, you don't have to trade away an asset to go get him back. Um, so let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Uh, still big names out there. Tyler Boyd, what's going on there? We still have yet to hear the Bakhtiari news. I'm sure the Thomas Morstead news will come out like right around that four o'clock mark. Um, but yeah, wide receivers, what's going to happen with the Charger situation? Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, a lot of stuff to keep our eye on here. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, go Jets.